Richard James Schultz III. It is my pleasure to introduce the keynote speaker for the class of 2011, 
Bo Vincent Fiore. Board of School Directors, Administrators, Faculty, Family, and Friends. It was such a thrill to walk into this grand place in such a hopeful procession, the way each of our individual steps merged into one unified group. Here we are in the class of 2011, flanked by our teachers and surrounded by our loved ones. In a few moments, we will each emerge one by one from that unified group and take our own walk across this stage. This is the walk that we have all worked extremely hard for and the one we have all undoubtedly earned. Such a simple thing, this short stroll, yet it is universally revered by students everywhere. So as you take your own stroll tonight, try to think of each pace as a goal achieved, a hardship overcome, or just a pleasant memory that will resonate long after you leave this place. Whether it was receiving an A in your strenuous 10th grade U.S. history course, completing the infamous gym class mile, or just taking the time to wave to Mao in the midst of the usual morning rush. These achievements and memories are represented in every footprint that we placed on this stage tonight. From the day I first entered the doors of the Marathon at Pencrest, I've made tremendous strides as a student and as a person, as I'm sure you all have as well. Parents, I'm sure you have seen our growth even more than we have, because you have seen us grow since first grade. I remember standing in my driveway wearing my brand new Old Navy cargos, posing for the camera. That was 12 years ago. 12 years filled with dioramas, projects, PowerPoints, SATs and ACTs, each of which were steps taken with feet that were still getting bigger and bigger. 12 first day photos later, here we are, taking a final walk with our now full grown size feet, and we'll soon take a different kind of photo. Not one with our cool new Blue's Clues backpack, but one with the red diploma. For me, these last four years at, Pen at Pencrest have been filled with so many fun and exciting steps, I can't begin to list them all. I was able to be a part of a football team that won its first playoff game in school history. I was able to be a part of a student council that raised over 15 tons of canned food for Shriver's Great Food Fight. And I was able to be a part of a united student body that found its identity not only as kids trying to do well in school, but as young adults growing into well-rounded, good-hearted people. Laughing at teacher faux pas over a warm chocolate chip cookie at lunch, posting Facebook pics of our awesome senior prom, or attending one of the many fantastic musical or theatrical productions, at some point we have all felt a sense of enjoyment or pride in the letters PHS. After we cross this stage, the walking will not be over. Yes, we'll have to walk back to our seats, but I mean the rest of the world will be waiting for you and me to leave our footprint. We're all going to be faced with even tougher challenges than those we've already overcome. And whichever path each of us takes, whether it leads us through the threshold of a dorm room, a tent overseas, or into a real office, the new path for all of us will be a more demanding and a more difficult one than the path from D-Wing to E-Wing. Well-renowned writer, performer, musician, and civil rights activist, Maya Angelou, who took her own unique path to greatness, once said, the horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change. After tonight, it will be time to take those new steps of change. Backpedaling is not an option. But by no means should you forget the many walks you took through the halls at Pencrest High School. For they are the steps that have been necessary preparation to find your own stride. We are ready now, ready to run to the edge of the horizon and place our own unique steps of change. Thank you.